This is music, and this is a double whammy update. Welcome to another update video. In this video, I'm going to share with you this stack of records. And it's actually two smaller hauls that I picked up from two separate Discogs sellers. Uh, one goes by the name of Rush Records and the other one goes by the name of Caster. Great sellers, both of them. You know, great service, great communication. Uh, the uh, records were packaged, you know, very responsibly. So absolutely great buying experience so i'm going to start out by showing you the uh, uh, rush records haul and what got this haul going was actually this cd here uh, geronimo peace to the chief now geronimo danish band they started out a hardcore band then they became a death doom slightly sludgy kind of band and, and released some really cool demos and then they became a um, kind of 90s rap metal band. And this is their rap metal EP. This is from the um, Rage Against the Machine, Clawfinger, Sensor, um, I guess technically Biohazard era of rap metal. So it's not new metal. Uh, there's some really great riffage on this uh, EP. Some of it is thrashy, some of it is groovy, some of it is a bit biohazardy. Um, some of it sounds a bit like Invocator to me uh, as well, like um, uh, Weaving the Apocalypse uh, Invocator, um, or maybe even Dying to, to Live uh, era Invocator. Uh, so really, really good stuff. Metal with wrapped vocals on top. So uh, this EP here was very influential on... Um, the thrash slash groove metal band I was in, Erector, at the time. Um, my favorite era of Geronimo, that's the Death Doom Sludge era, but this one is, I'm glad to have this one. I really enjoy uh, listening to the songs on that one. So, uh, I found uh, this in um, Rush Records uh, shop on Discogs, and I decided to see if they had some more stuff. And of course they had. So I grabbed this one here, uh, Larga Vida al Rock and Roll by Baron Rojo, uh, Spanish language, uh, traditional heavy metal hard rock. And these are not like real signatures. They're kind of, you know, part of the, uh, the jacket. So yeah, uh, I, I think I've, I heard one song from this and liked it. So I grabbed it. Uh, up next here you have uh, Unlaced by Black Lace, more sort of just uh, traditional heavy metal. I've heard a couple of songs from this album. I like them, so I grabbed it. So there you go, Black Lace. Uh, the next one, uh, Chroming Rose, uh, Louis XIV, I guess. Um, this kind of gimmicky uh, jacket, which looks like a giant coin. Uh, this is also sort of traditional heavy metal hard rock. I've heard a couple of songs from it. Really liked them, so I grabbed it. And it's also kind of a fun, gimmicky um, piece of, of, of uh, you know, jacket cover thing going on. The next one, some hard rock. The Full House, Bite the Dust. There you go. This is a blind buy. So, I don't know. Let's see. And by the way, as you can see... They, these came in PVC sleeves, so I'm going to get rid of them as soon as I can. Hole in the Sky by Pandemonium. I've heard a couple of Pandemonium songs, kind of a bit cheesy, kind of traditional heavy metal, some hard rock, but I kind of like it. So uh, there you go, grabbed it. Uh, the next one, uh, 2NH. Um, and it's called uh, Black Rock on Ice. And this one, as you can see, I actually censored some of it. And that's because the uh, N 
stands for racist word for black people and the H stands for racist word for white people. This is the band. So obviously they picked this name uh, to kind of take the piss out of racism and to make fun of racism. Um, and it's from 91. So it's also an instance of 90s irony. But, you know, you, you never know uh, what might happen, what YouTube has going on in terms of censorship and things like that. So I decided to just, you know, to play it safe, to censor the full name, which actually appears up here. Uh, but this is a Norwegian band. These are the members. And this is classic rock with some punk rock going on. Every now and then, some hard rock going on every now and then, some funk rock going on every now and then, and a bit of kind of early grunge. Uh, it's very good, you know, so actually great music, so I'm glad I have it. Um, but let's see, I don't think I don't think it's going to offend anyone either, you know, knowing the, uh, the era it's from, the members of the band, that it's, the, the name itself is satire, uh, but... You never know with the YouTube's algorithm. So that was the uh, Rush Records uh, Hall. So let's turn to the Caster Hall. Starting with this one here, uh, a seven inch single by Amazon. Uh, not the warehouse that exploits people, but a Danish AOR, melodic hard rock, slightly commercial metal kind of band. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. I, I heard some snippets of some of the songs on that single. Uh, up next, ATC, Cut and Ice, Swedish, Trad Metal, Hard Rock. Uh, know a couple of songs from this one. I like him, so I grabbed the entire album. Um, Black and Blue, In Heat, more just Hard Rock, silly band photo on the back, uh, but same story. I know a couple of songs from this album, quite like him, so I grabbed it. Up next, we have some uh, Danish progressive rock, Burning Red Ivanhoe. Uh, normally, people categorize this band as a psychedelic band, but th their style doesn't really sound that psychedelic to me, to be honest. To me, psychedelic rock has a, a strong, um, shall we say, blues foundation. These guys don't, they may have a bit of blues every now and then, but there's a lot of jazz going on and fusion music and um, quite original stuff. So to me, it's, it's more prog rock uh, than psychedelic rock, but great stuff. I, I was lucky enough to actually get to see them live uh, like 10 years ago or something. Uh, up next, C I D H i.e. genocide um and this is the album is called uh, uh as a goblet of gore so you got that goblet right here this is experimental progressive still quite dark thrash metal up next uh ranagi uh hard states of consciousness italian um hard rock as far as i remember uh i gave i listened to some snippets of some of the songs uh i remember liking them but i can't even remember what it sounds like now but probably good seeing that i like them uh, sergeant super brutal looking cover artwork but it's not that brutal it's kind of hard rock traditional metal uh more or less there you go sergeant up next, Shadows of Iga. Awesome cover artwork. It's called The Dark Side. This is a reissue. Um, just reminds me of you know the fighting fantasy books. Uh, maybe Caverns of the Ice Witch. I think is what it's called in English. Um, but it looks awesome. And it's, the music is awesome too. Kind of epic traditional heavy metal. And up last, some more uh, Danish prog rock, uh, No Return by Zaragon. Um, this one is also out on CD, and I think, as far as I remember, the CD version has um, a bonus track on it, so I might grab that at some point. But yeah, Danish prog rock from the 80s. This is 80s prog rock. Um, 
very good stuff really enjoy it so this is the one that kind of got that hole uh, or this hole that i just showed you started zaragon no return so yeah uh double whammy hall with some prog rock uh, a lot of traditional metal and hard rock um and even just some classic rock in it so uh yeah i look forward to listening to all of these and to getting rid of the um, PVC sleeves. Thanks for watching.